Hello, how are you doing? Um, last week, I was 400 miles away in Aberdeenshire. Um, this week, I'm back down in Nottinghamshire. But I'm actually on a similar mission uh, this week. I'm really just scoping out an area for another, sort of quite a few photo shoots, hopefully late, later in the spring. Um, and this week, I'm looking for little owls. Now, a couple of years ago, I had real success down in this location, photographing little owls, and um, then last year I got there quite late and couldn't find the owls at all. Uh, so I'm not really sure whether they're going to be still there. So I really wanted to get there early this year, so beginning of March, and I thought, what I'll do, I'll go down there and just see if they're around and if there's any sign that they're, they're there at all. Um, again, I've bought my camera and stuff just in case uh, there's a possibility of getting some shots, but you just never, you never know, but it's always best to be prepared. So anyway, I'm going to drive down there um, and show you around the site a little bit and then uh, hopefully just wait up and see if the owls are around. Um, as I say, judging by last year, I just hope that was a bit of a fluke and I got there too late because little owls i think are in trouble i mean i when we moved to notting uh, to carlton on trent where i live in nottinghamshire i had three sites regular sites where i'd see little owls now i'm down to just this one and then last year obviously i got nothing there then either so i am just hopeful that that was a bit of a fluke and they are going to be there but yeah it would be nice it would be nice um to have this location still going so Anyway, I'll catch up with you when I get there and uh, we'll have a look at it. Right, for those of you that have been doing wildlife photography for a while, you'll know that um, your car always makes a really, really good hide. and. Um, it really does in this case as well. Where I've pulled up to here, you often get the odd car pulled up where people go for a walk or whatever. And it's directly across the road from this old pan-tiled building that the little owls always seem to favor nesting in. And uh, so it makes sense really to bring the car here and park here. The, I'm in the back of the car, the reason being that this has got um, privacy glass at the back, so Literally, when the wind is halfway up, you can't see anything, uh, you know, below that point. So it just provides a little bit more cover for me in the back. And as I say, they're used to cars pulling up here, so that's not particularly a problem. So what I'm hoping is that if there's any owls around, that they will come out and uh, just let me know that they're, it's getting on in the afternoon now. So that's what I'm hoping for anyway. So literally, all I'm going to do is put, I've got a beanbag on the window going to stick the lens of the camera through and uh, yeah just wait and see what happens um, as I say actually the sky is not bad now we've got a nice blue sky it was really really grey and miserable air earlier um, and you can get some reasonable shots of them on the top of the roof but I'd just be glad to see them today just to let me know that they're still here because um, it has been a while so I've got my fingers crossed for this one um, as I say I really would like to do some um, shooting later on in the spring so um, if I haven't got them here then I, I, I'm, I'm stumped and I'm going to have to try and find a new place and it's becoming increasingly difficult I'm finding anyway with little owls so um, as I say I'm hoping now it's getting on later in the afternoon that they might start to move around a little bit if they're in there but yeah it's now just a waiting game so this old old farm building it's no longer used it's um I think one. I think the farmer told me it used to be what they call a. I don't know whether they call it a fly farm or a maggot farm. Um, there's no access. I think why the little owls like it. There's no access to the roof part. So even though you can get in the bottom, the top there's no staircase to it. There's just an old hatch um, in the back that's obviously sealed up. And because there's so many holes in this pan tiled roof because it's just been left for so long, obviously they can get in and they feel completely safe up there. So. Uh, yeah, it's great for them, and uh, from talking to the farmer in the past, they do get barn owls around here as well, so uh, 
you know, there's always an opportunity to um, to do some barn owl photography as well in this surrounding area. The main problem I have in the spring is um, this this little building here is surrounded by one big field and it always has cattle in it and I don't particularly mind cattle they don't phase me or anything like that but they do they are a nuisance when you put a hide up in there and they licking at the hide and sticking the head through the holes of the and then when you move they all scatter and run off and then they sneak back and yeah it can be a bit frustrating it's like I'm not supposed to be here but you're all giving me away sort of thing there is a bit of a, because the cattle now are actually in a barn at the back, there's another separate building. So there is a little bit of a concrete area around and there's, there's some areas in there that I think potentially I might be able to set a hide up and um, like I say, get some of these shots of the owls running along the floor. If they get youngsters in there and obviously they're feeding like crazy. Um, so that's the sort of thing I'm hoping for in the spring, but been here about an hour. Right, that's me done for this week. Um, I 
can't tell you how pleased I am that these little owls are still here. Knowing that the de decline of this species and the fact that I'd already lost two of the three sites, after last year I was convinced that they weren't here. But I think it's probably, and I was hoping that I got here too late, and I think I did. Obviously, you know, birds have a breeding season, but the, the fact that it's a season means that they can breed early or late, and sometimes that depends on um, how much food they can get, what the weather conditions are like. So maybe last year they nested really early, had the young, and by the time I got here, they, they'd fledged and gone. Um, but I'm so pleased that they, they're here. So I'm really quite confident now that they will nest in this barn. So um, that means that I'll probably do at least another two videos from down here, and obviously I'll bring you along with me. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll stick any stills and film that you haven't seen up at the end of the video, so please stay along for that. And other than that, please give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the, uh, the channel grow. The more likes you get on a video, the more it pushes it up the list of videos for people to watch. Uh, and the more popular a channel gets, then the more content that I can uh, push out for you. So anyway, after that shameless plug, I will see you next week for another one. Take care till then. Bye.